Hello and welcome dear students. Your theory exam, your practical exam is right around the corner and uh, I took uh, your life class that day. It was a, a very tremendous and overwhelming response. Thank you so much. I thought that you people would be uh, you know involved in studying for the theory exams and I shouldn't disturb you at this point in time because uh, usually people reserve this time to study those things in which they are uh, weak at but I'm very very happy uh, that so many of you turned up and this is how I want to keep any class you know very small so that you are able to uh, you know attend the class and not miss out on anything and everybody likes a little bit of break in between their you know uh, monotonous study period so I thought of just keeping and seeing so thank you so much I am getting a lot of uh, other requests from uh, people who are uh, uh, either undergoing or have to go your uh, theory exam and I'll try to uh, you know accommodate those uh, requests as much as possible I'll take classes on those topics like prolapse many of you requested recurrent pregnancy loss many of you uh, suggested then fetal therapy some of you told, told me about uh, then uh, of course uh, genetics I have taken many classes but you want a live class as well uh, live hysterectomy class that is also there in my mind um, a cesarean workshop is currently running but still a, a c-section uh, uh, you know class in which you can ask your doubts in between so uh, definitely I'm planning to incorporate as much as possible as your uh, requests and I would still uh, I'm still welcome to more requests uh, for live classes today's uh, lecture I have made for those students who are undergoing theory uh, uh, exam because it's right around the corner and uh, practical I'll come up in my next uh, session so there are two three things which I have been saying in my classes also and which I have made earlier videos also but I'd like to repeat it anyways uh, about the tips and tricks to make to write a good theory answer and how to be what should be your attitude in the theory in the examination hall. So first of all I'd like you all to, to understand this thing very carefully this thing your parents must have also told you before have a good night's sleep before your theory exam that's a very very important thing I understand with all the anxiety going on in your mind nothing is above your health so have a good night's sleep because that's also very very essential to recycle certain things in your mind and memory so just remember that if you've studied properly up till now nothing can stop you from doing good and you will only be able to be balanced in the examination hall when your mind is a little relaxed okay it will be more focused right to do any kind of meditation that you can before coming to the examination hall pray a little meditate a little and then you know try to see you know most of the things okay by the time you reach the examination hall you know 90 percent of the thing there are a few questions which are asked as googly questions which I'm sure will be able to uh, come into your head once you try to focus a little more. And more importantly, what I'd like to like tell you right now, how to distribute your examination, uh, you know, the time of the examination to your questions. See, the, the funda now in the NB exams, you know how the question paper is being set. It's being set in a way that, you know, no question is very big, no question is very small. So usually every question is almost of the same marks and this is further divided into small, small short notes. So nothing is more than, you know, six marks, nothing is uh, less than two or three marks. So if you are leaving a question, for example, let's say, Amongst those uh, 10 questions that are uh, that are asked, there's a part of one question you don't know. What I'm trying to say is that divide your time accordingly. So you get three hours to, uh, you know, uh, go for all the questions. So three, either go for three, four, three or go for four, three, three. That's how you should divide your time. You know, every hour should have at least three and more questions you should be able to answer. And suppose you're not able, that means it's giving you around, you know, roughly around 15, 20 minutes per per uh, question which is more than sufficient so what I, I would like to suggest is that leave that space and go ahead because all questions are carrying equal marks suppose you know a lot about let's say uh, you know prenatal diagnosis now that you've also attended my class so suppose you know a lot about prenatal diagnosis and you know nothing about let's say fetal therapy then what's important is that you at least you know write something in fetal therapy and write okay in uh, prenatal you cannot write eight pages for prenatal diagnosis because you're still going to get four marks for that and if you write four pages also you'll get four marks for that important is that you've touched upon all the topics you know and you've written down one or two lines in between that is one very 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 important trick that you're not going to you know 
uh, get lost in one answer that you know very well and the other answer which you do not know you completely leave it never ever do that write down something throw throw a line or two or at least give it some time to answer what you can do is that you, like i said divide your answer uh, you know your time accordingly 433 or 343 you know that so that you know you know that you have to finish four questions in this one hour and then the ne next que next three questions in the ne next hour and then last three uh, you know last hour is very important because you're not just trying to finish off those three questions but you're also coming back and seeing you know the other questions that you've left what you can also do is some people do this the five and five in the first and second hour and then the last hour they see what they've missed out and then they can come back but that gives you you know kind of a little haste in doing those questions which you already know properly and you know just to finish off those questions fast you can just you know mess up so what i try to tell you is that always divide your parts equally that is one thing the second very important thing is that whenever you write write down legible handwriting see the examiner gets irritated they're trying to search your answers so the more you increase the effort of the examiner the less likely he's going to be interested in giving you good marks so even if you know the answer you've written beautifully but you know he has to search for the answer your writing is irritating him he'll end up giving you less marks so which every mark becomes important especially on those answers which you know which you've written properly the other that is your second tip the th third tip is that you should always practice a little bit of diagrams before going to the examination hall and remember carrying a bangle with you, make an inset, you know, and just uh, draw a beautiful diagram. Two or three important diagrams you should always practice. They could be the anatomy, one question or two questions are always asked. About lymph node drainage, mostly this, these questions are asked. Central lymph node biopsy has been asked so many times. Just draw a rough diagram whenever you're talking about, let's say, cervical drainage you know, uh, uh, lymph nodes, vulval uh, drainage, you should always just scribble a little diagram and mark two or three, you know, label a neat, clean label, well labeled diagram is going to fetch you a lot of marks. The fourth most important thing, whenever possible, wherever possible, make tables, okay? Sometimes the questions only asked. Uh, the limitations and the advantages of this particular procedure so always write down a tabular form that makes it very very easy for example you don't have to scribble down two three pages for that you can just make a big table nice table and write down this is these are the advantages cut 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 and these are the limitations you know so examiner knows that this girl knows this answer so this is again a very very important thing how easy are you making the examiners you know uh, work very important is neatness i'm saying again and again do not be a messy about i like i told you you have to you know maybe two marks uh, question you're giving one page all right for a four marks question you're giving two pages so maybe three pages for six marks question you're at the most giving it one two three four five pages or six pages not more than that and that's one two i'm saying one and two not one two three no one in front and then one back that also is very important do not try to overdo the answer because like i said it's only going to kill your time not get you more marks maybe it will fetch you one mark but at the same time you're now lacking uh, you know full complete half an hour for a question that you could have answered beautifully and not one maybe you'll miss out two, two questions there are many of you who called me the next day of your exam that ma'am uh, we uh, wasted our time a lot in the examination hall and i couldn't finish off my complete paper and i'm not going to pass it's you know heartbreaking for me to hear these things because uh, it's very important that you if you've read properly you uh, you know at least are able to um, you know show it to the examiner that i know it and just because of scarcity of time that's that's you know just not done because time management is totally in your hands so I'm, I'm telling you try to practice it if you want i can start with mock papers as well let me know uh you know in the comments how many of you really want a mock paper i can do that as well you can chat you can just you know send me a message on whatsapp i would love to hear what's your start, side of the story and i would love to get those things for you so that you're able to get maximum out of my classes so these were the tips and tricks, tricks that I wanted you to know before you go in for your theory exam. Very, very important, like I always say, is to make the you know job of the examiner easy. And at the same time, keep fetching more marks. Yes, very important is writing bullet points. There are sometimes question is asked, uh, describe the procedure. Now, this is a very boring, dull, monotonous question. Even they know, how will a person make it easy? So you can make a flow chart. Incise the abdomen, cut. Incise the uh, rectus sheath split the muscles so this is how if you write down you know things will become easy for the examiner interesting for the examiner and you know you'll be able to get uh, marks easily 
rather than making it a difficult uh, you know uh, thing for both yourself and the examiner i think uh, those were the tips which i wanted to tell you like you always do please keep me abreast with your questions which were asked in the examination before they come on the site i need to know those answers i mean i need to know the questions so that i can uh, make an answer bank and let you know what you were supposed to write down in the examination so all the very best dear students i'm sure you're going to rock the paper i'm sure you're going to do very well and just take take it easy focus meditate do not get anxious that's the most important thing eat properly at least sleep properly before you go to the examination hall and i'm sure you'll do do well well